guys, I'm Toby Lee and I'm here at Blackstar to show you some of my favourite tones that I can get out of my HT20. Now this amp is brilliant because you can get some really, really amazing tones out of it and it's so versatile. You can have like clean tones and distortion tones but you can like really clean it up. It cleans up really, really well. So I thought I would take you through some of the tones I can get out of it. This is one of my favourites. I love the clean tone because it's so rich and warm and I just love it, especially with the reverb up because the reverb is amazing on these amps. Um, so this is my favourite. I'm just going through my 335 on the neck pickup and it, it, it's my favourite sound I think. Um, because it's just really warm and lovely. Um, so yeah, here it is. So I love that warm, clean tone because it's it's just so pure and lovely. And then with the voice setting, it's really nice because it, it's still the lovely warm tone, but you still get a little bit of distortion out of it, which works really well on the bridge pickup of this because it just distorts it even more. And so this is what you can kind of get out of it without moving to a distortion channel.
So you see it gives it that kind of lovely 70s crunch sound that I really like. So it's not too distorted, but it's just got that little breakthrough of crunch. Um, and then when you move on to the distortion channel, it really, really gets amazing because most distortions that I've tried through amps, this I've found my favourite now because it's with this, but my, some of the distortions I've tried are really, really fuzzy and a bit too tinny, but this one still has the warm, clean sound of the kind of clean channel, um, but with distortion, which is amazing, which I haven't found before, but now I've found it, I'm completely obsessed. And so I think you'll see what I mean. So this is with the neck pickup, and then I'll, I'll kind of move to the bridge, but because the bridge is quite amazing, but this is the neck pickup. <laughs> So there's your neck pickup sound, but when you move on to the bridge, this is when it gets amazing. is the sounds you can get out of this absolutely amazing app. As some of you know, I do a jam every Sunday, my Sunday jams, and I've been doing them for about four and a half years so far, and I don't think I've missed one. I've been doing them for quite a while now, so I can't actually remember, but I've been using this amp on them for the last few months, and it's really, really good because with me, I find a tone that I absolutely love and work everything around it, and I use that tone as well, but I kind of use the guitar to change like the settings kind of like with the tone and the volume and the amp cleans up really really nicely so I'll give you a little example I'm on the distortion channel now no voice just the distortion channel and I'll put it on like 10 on my guitar and um, you'll you'll see it's kind of like a normal distortion <laughs> But then if I move that down to say like a, a four, I get a bit of a crunch, like a four, four and a half. It kind of halves the distortion, which is really nice. And then if I move that down to like a two, two and a half, the amp just cleans up so, so nicely. So this is like a two and a half, so you got. So as you can see, I'm still on the distortion channel on my foot switch and obviously still on the amp, but um, by kind of playing around with the volume and the tone, you can get like, if I use the tone now, you can get like a really flat kind of cream crossroads kind of sound. You've got your... <laughs> So you can just really play around with it and you can get loads of different sounds and that's why I love it. So this is how I have the knobs on the amp set for this particular tone. And so me personally, I absolutely love reverb because it just makes, even though the amp has the warm sound anyway, it just makes it 
a lot fuller and I just really, really like reverb. So as you can see, I have my reverb on like a nine and a half. So yeah, I love reverb. Um, and yeah, I have my ISF just before 12 o'clock because it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. And it just, I know, I, I just love it at that kind of setting because it just gives me the best of both worlds. And I, I like that. I don't always have too much treble because I don't want it to be too tinny um, because I, I, I love warm tones and I, I don't like ruining the warm tone that this has by putting too much treble on it. So I have that just a bit over um, one o'clock, which I like. I never have too much bass um, because otherwise with this guitar, when I hit, if I put that on like full, when I hit this, where, with my Sunday jams, we have the Volkswagen bus on the back of the wall. And if I have too much bass, that starts rattling. So I never put too much bass on it. Because if I was at home right now doing that, <laughs> the bus would be very, very rattly. And so I, I don't put too much bass on for that reason and because I kind of, it, vi it really vibrates the um, surroundings and the guitar and it kind of, I don't know, it puts me off a bit. So I have a little bit, but not too much. Um, for overdrive, I have not too much gain because this is a hollow body. And most of you will know that a hollow body goes quite like buzzy and it howls in, not a necessarily good way um, when it has too much gain. So I have just about one o'clock of that because I don't really, I don't really need too much gain either because um, I get it out of the guitar and I, I also kind of play around with the volume on the amp to get a bit more of a crunch out of that. With my clean, I have quite a lot of tone because I, I feel that it, it adds to it in a, in a very nice way. And then I, I've, I've not done my volumes very well, but um, it's quite nice because I've set it at, so it's kind of like the same level for clean and distortion which which is good when you're changing mid solo or mid um, song which is brilliant so I uh, that's that's my settings on my Blackstar HD20. Mm -hmm. 